Okay, what I've got here is a bit of box section, the same material that we're using for our little drift cart. And I'm just going to show you guys how to measure it with a vernier caliper. So you just put your caliper on the exterior of the box cart. Um, I don't know how good it will come up. I've got a bit of shadow on it. But if you um, look at it, the bottom numbers, it's there's 20 mils. So it's just under 20 mils, 19 mils. So that's the 90 mil box section. If you want to get the um, thickness of the steel as well, you can go inside and you can see that it's two mils there. If you look at the zero there, it's right on the two mils. Um, you can measure finer, but for now, I'm just going to look into this. Now, as you can see as well, there's round corners on the bit. So we call that filleting if you do that in a sketch. So um, this is the box section. We're going to look at the front axle first. So the material um, box section 19 mil steel is strong enough to be used in the front axle and yet it's mild steel so it's soft enough to bend for later when we do the chassis. So when we sketch this um, normally we'll just have a rectangle so we'll just have a rectangle and this is the oblique method you can get back 45 degrees and go there and go there so that's just how we do it freehand we did a bit of freehand sketching and then you can just do the curves you can have little marks there do your curves over there so that's that filleting that i was talking about about two moles and then you're going to go slightly back on the curve bit and there where the curve just disappears and at the back you'll just have it slightly round and then we remember it's a two mole thickness so the steel's got a two mole thickness as well and it's quite interesting you can see on the steel as well when they manufacture it where the bits were joined together so if you look at the um, inside the steel you can see there's a really a heated mark there and that's where it was joined together so box 19 mil box section um it's good to know about materials and know what materials is out there to use for projects this can be used for a range of different projects and um, you get steel in different um, sizes like this so you don't get it like in a funny size like 23 mils and stuff will normally be um, the 19 mils square section then you get rectangle section as well so mild steel um, this one wasn't protected and it was lying in my garage for quite a while that's why they got rust on it so that's where the metal um, did have, had a chemical reaction with the oxygen around it so that's just a bit of surface rust but we can just sand that off later so um, and it's still got a lot of burr on the ends from the cutting and it's not a very straight cut as well so we'll look at that later as well so so um, just mild steel box section 19 mil